the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Kingdom, every dimension that God wants us to function in, there is a requisite level of anointing and grace. Now you understand what I mean by anointing and ordination. You are not going to step into realms illegally. When you step into realms and dimensions illegally, there is a system design. It's called God's justice system. It will check you out eventually. Are we together now? Yes. So kings, before they functioned in their offices, they were anointed by priests and prophets. And that made their throne recognized in heaven. If you fought them as touching that office, the anointing on them will call heaven and it will fight you. Are we together now? Yes. When a man of God is anointed, he is ordained and authorized. The realm of the spirit now recognizes that this man stands as a representative of the purposes of God. If you fight that man, the ordination on him will cry to heaven and God who made it happen will answer. Are we together now? So every dimension requires a level of anointing. The third thing I'll tell you quickly is that anointings are in levels and anointings are in dimensions. Let me give you an instance. The healing anointing. Two of us can be functioning in a healing ministry. But this lady can have a higher level of the healing anointing than me. The possibilities that happen in her meeting and my meeting will not be the same. There will be people healed in my meeting. But there are certain cases. There are certain cases that the anointing upon my life is too low to solve. Are you getting the idea now? And so I can pray for everyone. The anointing works like money right every time i want to teach on the anointing i like to use money the anointing works like money because you can have a thousand naira or a thousand dollars it is only the purchases under that amount that you can buy anything above it you cannot buy although it is still available are, are you getting the idea now is it all right if i use money i hope you'll not be offended let me just bring something out okay watch this this is a hundred dollar bill watch this if i give you this my sister please hold this she's holding a hundred dollar bill my god look your attention now don't be carnally minded in jesus name now watch this she's holding a hundred dollar bill are we together now and with this now do you know she can eat a healthy meal this can purchase it but do you know this as wonderful as it is cannot buy a car so if your request is a car you are in because although you have this but you don't have enough to give you that result so what you will need is more of the same thing to the level that can purchase that reality this is how anointing works so it is not just that i am anointed no how god anointed jesus are you seeing now the idea is not that he was anointed he was anointed to the extent that every challenge that came to him, there was the grace enough to solve it. This is why even those who are anointed continue to press. Because the more we have this, the more we become blessings. You are truly a blessing when you sustain the level of anointing that can solve most of the problems in the lives of people that come to you. That way you are a real blessing. Do you understand how this thing works? So there are levels of the anointing. She's quickly returning it to me. Praise the Lord. Now watch this. If this is all you have, it may have produced results in 2019, but it may not be able to produce the results you need because the challenges now that now confront you will require a higher level of grace. 
now in addition to levels of the anointing there are also dimensions you have the healing anointing but the healing anointing does not produce favor it produces health so you can be healthy while you are broke you need another dimension of anointing the anointing the anointing works within the jurisdiction of their operation one dimension of anointing will not replace another so you can have even the anointing for prayer the spirit of grace and supplication you can pray your life out and then you find out that because you don't have the anointing for speed your life will be mysteriously slow now watch this the purpose of what you are about to receive is to expose you first to higher levels then greater dimensions are you now seeing what you are receiving it's important you understand this that means that at the end of this impartation you should carry something you did not come to church with today how do i know what has come upon me by what begins to change around me because everything around you obeys what is on you if you carry bad luck the bad luck on you will make anything become bad give a person a car who carries a certain kind of evil grace if i call it that car will not only spoil somebody will carry that car and throw it inside a river the real way to bless people is not to give them things the real way to bless people is to program the climate upon their head i can give you this it will finish sometimes this night I give you and quickly you tell this person, I'm owing you a bit. Oh yeah, take. Yeah, don't talk to me again. But you are. this is not what you will need to survive with all the days of your life. Please, you get what I'm saying now? So that we don't just anoint ourselves and put our hands. No, you must know what is coming on you. The Bible says, Thou anointest my head with oil, but I see the proof by what overflows in my cup. God does not anoint cups. He anoints your head. And you know what is on your head by looking at your cup. If your cup is half filled, it tells you what is on your head. If your cup overflows, it tells you what has been added upon you. So we are going to pray seriously this night. And while we prepare to pray on the request, I want you to be angry at the level you are. You see that it's not just your boss. It's not just your job. Believe me. It's not just that they don't want to sell the land for you. There is a grace that comes upon you. It will compel someone to sell the land half the price. Everything is possible but not for everybody. And not under every condition. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus is time. Pastor told us something here before I came. They sang the song and they said there is more. We must insist for that more. The Bible says... Um, how did he put it now? He says, He that told you have not asked for anything. He said, Ask that you may receive, that your joy may be complete. That means there is a dimension of your joy that comes, whether you have anything or not. But the completion of your joy comes on receiving things. Your joy cannot be full when your hands are empty. Hallelujah. When your hands are empty, it's a proof that favor is not in your life. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. This will be the last scripture and then we'll rise to pray. Am I wasting your time tonight? Exodus chapter 3, please, and 21. It's a scripture God showed me by revelation and it really, really changed my life. Please read with me if you're a Christian. One to read. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. What will be the proof? And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. An empty hand is putting on your head. It is not about a job or no job. Jobs and businesses are only vehicles. You don't make money of business. You don't make money of a job. You make money of what is on you. All those things become valid vehicles when what is on you is there. Please believe what I tell you. Please let's rise up in the name of Jesus. Let's rise up in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. I will plead again like we did yesterday. Please, can you pair yourselves into two for these first two prayer points? Just find a serious partner. You can't be praying for someone and is looking at you. Leave the person and find someone who will reward your own prayer. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. 
one more time say in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that every closed door over my life over my destiny be open now please lift your voice and pray every closed door be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus be open be open in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are going to pray. Whatever attacks your spiritual life has really attacked you. You are going to pray for your word study and your prayer life. Lord, I confess that last year I was not serious spiritually. But this year, no more excuses, no more laziness. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare fresh fire upon my spiritual life fresh passion for god the house of god the things of god i declare no more giving myself to the devil i declare that this year my spiritual life just back to life lift your voice and pray fresh fire fresh grace Pray for your spiritual life. someone is praying pray your way fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire upon your word life fresh fire upon your commitment to the house of god i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord they that be planted in the house of god they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, they shall be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Next prayer point. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, please, and verse 18. Please don't be tired while praying. God is changing someone's life. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. 18. please read with me one to read wherefore we would have come unto you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us wherefore 
your promotion would have come to you once and again it kept trying but satan hindered it wherefore the helper of your destiny would have reached you since mass last year but satan hindered us you're going to say in the name of jesus every hindrance every blockage to my blessings to my prophecy tonight by the blood of jesus be cleared out of my way please lift your voice and pray clear it out of your way in the name of jesus clear it out of your way in the name of jesus clear it out of your way clear it out of your way financial blockage marital blockage career blockage i come against you in the name of jesus please pray please pray make sure you are praying Psalm 92 verse 10. Ah, I tell you, I sense God shifting things in this place. Psalm 92 and verse 10. Please don't be tired. Please, I'd like you to shout it and read it with faith in your heart. One, two, go, please. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn, and I shall be anointed. Now, look at me. Say in the name of Jesus every spiritual climate over my head over my destiny that is negative bringing tragedies to my life tonight in the name of jesus be lifted from off my life please lift your voice and pray lift it every climate of disfavor every climate of trouble climate of accident climate of death someone needs to pray the days are evil the days are evil the days are evil pray every negative spiritual climate above my life my destiny programming destruction programming disfavor I come against you in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The last scripture. Psalms 89 verse 20. You are the covenant keeping God. Now I'm the covenant keeping God. Now I'm the covenant keeping God.
have found Joshua Selman, my servant. It says, with my holy oil, have I anointed him, 21. As a result, my hand, with whom my hand shall be established, my arm shall also strengthen him. Continue, 22. The enemy, by reason of the anointing, shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. 23. And I will beat down his foes before his face, and plague them that hate him. 24. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. Listen, I like you in one minute. You are going to pray. Call every good thing you know that must enter your life in 2020. Please don't keep quiet. Lord, by reason of this anointing, call it forth. Open doors. Call it forth. Speak. Call it forth. Favor. Call it forth. Fruitfulness. Don't be silent. Open your mouth. Declare by the Spirit. sworn to dealing with you we call it covenant there are people who by reason of their sacrifices God has vowed a vow to treat them in certain ways and he has named himself after his act with them that's where you get the word God of Abraham God of Isaac the thing that makes men great among other reasons are the covenants not old and new testament that these people by reason of their sacrifice God has vowed a vow upon their lives the revelation of praying over requests like this is not something that came just like that it was a covenant that God told me that when these requests are brought and I bow my knees and I lift up my voice to the God of our covenant that he will arise and he will answer in strange ways and so I didn't even plan to do it. I truly honor your pastor for the discernment. Please, you can put it here. If you still have others, just put it quickly. I cannot begin to tell you the testimonies and the lives. And Im don't be careful what you call impossible. No, no. Hallelujah. I'm going to bow my knees to our God. You don't have to do the same. 
but I just want you while I'm praying for the next two minutes the instrumentalist will just be playing I want you to mention what must live your life from this night and never return please listen listen please listen some of you have written it here some things written here are death sentences some things written here are 50 years old of trouble that kept coming from father to mother it's time to end it please let's not waste this night in the name of if you need to hold your wife to pray and agree do it if you need to hold your child do it if you need to agree with anybody if you need to kneel down whatever you will do but in the next three minutes while i bow my knees and i cry to god here please let's not be silent open your mouth you are a student you can pray whatever your ministry is not growing find a way to pray enough is enough oh god lift your voice and pray chapter 14 and verse 13 please Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13 Shalabaru Sanekalabradiata Please I like us to read it in concert with faith in your heart Receive this word as your prophecy for this year Ready 1 to read 
And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, ye shall not see them again no more forever. I prophesy this word over someone, that in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, standing in faith with your pastor, the Egyptians that you see today, some of them have been long in your life, from tonight you will see them again no more forever you will see them again no more forever listen there are people who when good things are about to come to their life just at the point when it should manifest their testimonies never come to fruition they will start the man said come to my office on monday he even gave me a card but the job never comes hallelujah by the grace of god we are going to pray on the oil now and then we'll anoint it and then the leaders will take it round to various places now this is what i want you to do please let's be sensitive let's just cooperate with the holy spirit this is ordinary oil but not after the prayer after the prayer it is not ordinary oil it carries the power and the jealousy of god upon it praise the lord now this is what you are going to do by the grace of god as the oil comes on you on your head on your hands on your head on your hands you are praying seriously your head is a symbol of your glory your hand is a symbol of your productivity. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield. agree with me father in the name of jesus here at new heritage baptist church in the presence of god's servant and in the presence of your people i lay my hands upon these bottles and i declare that they are no longer ordinary oil i declare that upon this bottle from now let there be the oil of vengeance Please hear me that anything sitting on your destiny that has eaten your glory except God is not God that if this oil comes upon you physical vengeance upon the camp of the wicked number two let this oil tonight become an oil of speed for some of you where you are that be now you've not you are not 10 percent that journey you will need speed number three let it become an oil of strange favor please listen to me the proof of favor is not necessarily money is the loyalty of the hearts of men hallelujah favor number four let this oil be an oil of exemption. The Bible tells us that we are living in perilous times. Even Cain, when God cursed him, he said this is too much. And God put a mark upon him so that no one will kill him. There is a mark that if it's not upon you, you are exposed to any kind of danger. But not after this impartation. Number five, this oil tonight becomes an oil of strange wisdom. The grace to know what to do. And finally, that this oil that comes upon you, it is fire for your spiritual life. Listen, let me tell you this. Truthfully speaking, some of you as this oil comes upon you, the visions and the dreams you used to have, 
that just died god had a strange way of speaking to you you will see things and they will come to pass it was like that but now the thing just died that there will be restoration of dreams restoration of spiritual gifts in the name of jesus therefore in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit we anoint this oil as it goes round let it produce all these things in jesus name i pray amen now this is what will happen um we'll anoint it and pastor will pastor will distribute it and then we'll take it you you just stay where you are you don't need to go around i'm sure that there is a way to take it around please please listen john don't waylay the the elders or whoever is bringing it to you just it should be enough um don't start fetching to put in another jar no just we can pray for any other one you have after service but for now once it comes just tap on your head on your hands fire you begin to pray in the spirit and declare and command and call for praise the lord praise the lord you will insist while you are praying that lord every word that has come the prophetic declarations from this altar must come to pass you see while you are praying the devil will be speaking nonsense don't mind what he's saying you just continue to pray the bible says let god be true and every man a liar there are people because of what is happening tonight before february is over your job is coming to you just like this there are people that some of you are in ministry you will step into dimensions of grace that will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i may want to please request that the pastor just say a word of prayer i have prayed but as a shepherd of the house i will plead that you just speak a blessing upon it when that happens then we'll just take it round. just do it very quickly please make sure even the children whether they are sleeping or awake you don't have to wake them make sure you just touch their head and on their hands and then we pray father in the name of jesus tonight we declare by the reason of this anointing let there be an ordination for divine possibilities all dimensions of divine possibilities come into expression in the name of jesus every life that this oil touches nothing shall be impossible unto you in the name of jesus as you receive this anointing impossibility is nothing and therefore gives way before you in the name of jesus as this anointing come upon you from tonight no more limits no more boundaries no more limits no more boundaries no more barrier no more delay in the name of jesus begin to pray everybody let's begin to pray once the oil comes just touch it and then you move please pray pray everybody on your head on your hands and you are praying
reason you are here to the oil is here to reach you you may want to just notify someone should be around there so that everyone the children everybody praise the Lord okay now this is the last section and then we are done and I would want to plead with pastor to just stand with me and we are going to make decrees please I want you to believe it Isaiah 43 please we are going to be making strong prophetic decrees and I want you to believe it with all your heart. The Bible says, who had believed our report to that man, the arm of the Lord had been shown. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43 verse 18. 18. It's a prophetic word for someone. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Verse 19. Behold, New Heritage Baptist Church, this is a prophetic word for you. Behold, God is doing a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. In the name that is above all names, I speak and I declare over everyone under the sound of my voice by the power that raised Christ from the dead move forward in 2020 move forward in 2020 I prophesy advance in the name of Jesus hear me please any man that vows that you will not rise this year may the ground open and swallow them
every door that has been closed over your destiny and has brought unnecessary struggle to your home to your job tonight by the grace of you i decree and declare that door opens for you now please listen if there is anyone here that in the realm of the spirit there is already an obituary over you that while you are walking your children are already dead in the spirit we stand by the grace of god from january to december none will die in your household every medical report threatening your life we stand by the god of jeshurun tonight and we cancel that report now please hear me there are many people who are hard working but are not favored it's not that things don't happen but you struggle for everything in the name of jesus this year 2020 you will see favor like never before everyone called jobless in this church between now and april as surely as the lord leaves return with miracle jobs everyone due for promotion or appointment we call upon the god the father of spirits that he will locate you this year in the name of jesus anyone called barren in this church or in this program or connected to someone you know whose womb has refused to open according to the time of life they receive miracle babies this year hear me i declare by the god of heaven i don't know what has been stolen from you you have lost money you have lost relationships you have lost opportunities but by the god of heaven we call 10 years of your life into 2020 restoration in the name of jesus and anyone sick in the body right now I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit it's too early to start the year that way therefore by the God of heaven I cause sickness now listen everybody in the world in the world not just in Africa knows that Lagos is a good place the earth has increased but it does not mean you will have your portion are we together now i want to declare your portion for you you cannot be in this land and every good thing passes over your head i declare that what is yours by divine ordination let it locate you this year what is yours spiritually financially let it locate you in the name of jesus that this year the testimony of this church will be that you are Beulah and Hephzibah the delight of the Lord in the name of Jesus and every spirit of ancestry every operations connected to ancestry and foundations creating patterns that reoccur in lives by the blood of the Lamb we break that cycle tonight forever. Please, every parent here that has a child that is trusting God for something for, whether it is increase, whether it is spiritual restoration, whether it is advancement, we agree with every parent here. This year, may God surprise you. I pray for every student here. In the name of Jesus, let this be your best year ever. Every prophecy that has been spoken over your life, that has suffered delay up until now, I declare 
by this ordination, no more delay. No more delay. No more delay. Every promise that has been made in yesteryears, you have been running, running to cash it. You have not been able to cash it. I declare by this ordination, that promise is fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of divine possibilities that you believe God for, as soon as God declared that over your life for 2020, whatever be the dimension, right now by this ordination, receive in the name of Jesus. Everyone that have received the prophecy of twins and triplets, right now, they are delivered to you in the name of Jesus. They are delivered to you in the name of Jesus. God spoke over your life that as you enter into 2020, you should prepare for more. You saw wonders in 2019. But God said this year, prepare for more. Every more that you hunger for, that you thirst for, receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Last year you watched others give testimony. And you were asking, when will it be my turn? When will it be my turn? By the reason of this anointing, it is your turn. It is your power. It is your power. It is your power. It is your power. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. Let me encourage everyone under the sound of my voice. I fear God, and my heart will not leave me if I don't tell you this truth. One of the greatest secrets of great men is that they start their year not only with prayers it's a combination of your prayer and your giving now please listen i'm not asking you to give no i will tell you the truth most people do not know the mystery behind starting you can give every time but there is what is called the evening sacrifice and in god's economy it is evening that starts before morning and the evening and the morning came that's the one so the time for the evening sacrifice is the beginning of another season are we together i never start my year and i never start my season just praying and then saying that's all no when the angel appeared to peter and they came to the house of cornelius he says your prayer and your giving these are the two things that brought me now i know that things that pertain to giving I have not even spoken with pastor by the grace of God you know me I don't do all of this nonsense at all I fear God but truly speaking let me tell you I want you to go back and trust God and say Lord what would you have me as a person and as a family to bring as a seed a sacrifice tied to this thing if you don't believe it you can do whatever you want to do but I am telling you under God if it is the God of heaven he will surprise you it has been a secret of my life for many years. Mine is not just at the beginning of the year. At strategic seasons in my life. Your seed is the only... You, you, you can use your seed and bury a season and resurrect another one. The principle of seed faith works on the principle of resurrection. That means whatever I don't like in my life... I can tie it to my seed. As my seed dies, whatever was tied with it, the tragedies, the disappointment, it must also follow it to the ground. And as the seed comes alive, God gives it another body. It's a very deep mystery. Most people who collect money just collect money because of flesh and carnality. And that's why people are not blessed. But when the truth of scripture is obeyed accordingly, you will marvel and wonder at what it does in your life. So I want to encourage everybody, please, this is my encouragement. You can sit with your wife, your husband, your children, or just sit and discuss and say, what are we agreeing on? 
that we are bringing to come and put before God in the altar. I don't know how the church will do it, but that, that should be the way. Once you do that, you provoke that seed. You now have the readiness to judge all disobedience because your obedience is complete. Are we blessed? Pastor, thank you so much. It remains an honor for me to be a blessing. Please, hold on, please, just a minute. I sincerely want to thank this precious church. Um, you have stood by me for many years and given me the platform to always bring the word of the Lord. I will never take it for granted. I am grateful. I am honored. I truly am humbled by what you do all the time. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless you. Thank you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete katos kete branda kata pa kotos koto breke teke ne kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.